everybody, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and in this lesson we're going to talk about intervals. Now this is certainly going to be more of a music theory lesson and less of a guitar, um, you know, put your finger here and play this lick kind of a lesson, but I really feel like this is super important. Um, and getting a good base knowledge of, of interval theory has helped me in so many ways. It's helped me to be able to communicate with um, musicians who don't play a fretted instrument, don't play a stringed instrument. It's helped me uh, open up the fretboard when I'm improvising. I don't have to think about patterns as much. I can just think about you know, the certain intervals that I need to be emphasizing in a certain scale and a certain progression. And really, fundamentally, it's, it's helped me to um, start to see how um, you know, the major scale is, is constructed and then how the chords are constructed and it just really has opened up my ear musically in so many ways. So um, I hope you get a lot out of this lesson. So when I say intervals and I'm talking about music theory, what are we talking about? I'm talking about the distance between two pitches. And distance is, is kind of a funny word to use here because, I mean, there's no you know, you're not running a mile away from where you started and, and there's a distance in between, but what you are doing is going up in pitch or down in pitch and the, the uh, amount that you're going up or down is called an interval. So, for instance, here, if I start out on this A note and move up, I've gone a certain interval. And we'll go through the major scale to figure out, you know, exactly what that interval is. Um, because as musicians, we need to have a way to describe that the distance from your, your root note or from your, the key center that you're working in. So let's take a look at the, um, the A major scale right here at the fifth fret six strings where we're going to start. Okay, so just your basic A major scale. Now you hear that and you immediately know that it's a major scale because this pattern does not change. This pattern has a certain number of intervals going from one note to the next. And so let's take a look at what those actual intervals are. We start out here on the one, move up to the second, which is the second note in the scale, um, and we move a whole step. So I'm skipping a fret there. And this interval is called a major second, or just a second. You know, just like with chords, if you see, you know, G written somewhere, you know it's major because we didn't say it's minor, we didn't say it's diminished or anything funky, you know, numbers and symbols and square roots next to it. Um, it's just regular plain Jane major. So generally, you would just say this is a second. And that's reference from the first note. And we're going to do the same thing when we move to the third from the second. And, and we call it the third because it's uh, a third away from the root, the A note in this case. Okay, and we're going to move up to the fourth. And we're going to move up from there to the fifth. From the fifth to the sixth. From the sixth to the seventh. And then we move up to the root. Okay? So now, really, these um, are just very sequential. You start, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So the important thing to get out of this lesson is that, you know, everything that we're talking about, the, the fourths, the fifths, it's all based on how far you are away from your root note. Um, and some of these, uh, some of these intervals, you know, the third and the fifth, they, they have really, really uh, special functions. I mean, I guess they all have a, a, their own unique characteristic, but you're going to find out as we start exploring this in further detail in future lessons that some of these intervals are super important to emphasize when you're playing. I mean, when you're playing a blues progression in A, you would know that the one is going to sound really good, the root over that just sounds like home you know, it makes sense because we're playing an A chord and that's an A note but there are other notes 
that work um, pretty well and there are certain notes that work excellent and there are certain notes you just absolutely want to stay away from if you don't want to uh, run people away um, when you're playing. So now we'll get into that in a future lesson when we talk about target tones but for today I really want you to focus on learning the names to the notes in interval formats so root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, root and know that in different keys you know obviously if you want to play this in C you just move up and then you go root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, one okay really study how you can use this all over the neck you know, say I'm playing up here and I want to play the, the um, C major scale. Maybe this is a little more unfamiliar territory to you, but keeping in mind this pattern of the intervals in between these notes, um, you can figure out where the C major scale would be. You can take this knowledge and figure out how chords are actually constructed. What makes a major chord a major chord versus a minor chord? And, uh, you know, where on earth are we getting the seventh chords from? And what's a major sixth chord? All that stuff starts to really make sense once you have this basic knowledge of intervals uh, in your head and in your ear. So really spend some time thinking about the guitar and thinking about, well, where are my thirds if I'm playing in the key of A? Where are my thirds if I'm playing in the key of E? And then we'll start to do some really cool stuff with it. Like, um, we'll, we'll take a look at the target tones when you're soloing and, and improvising to know that uh, certain notes sound really good over certain chords and some don't. And that's all based on knowing the intervals.